Here, let's go upstairs. Can you hand with him? Is it too heavy? No, no, I can manage fine. <laughs> We're on our way to the children's department once again. Okay, it's clear. The customers have all gone home now. Price too. Yeah, put that back nice and tidy there. You mean? Hi Sam. Oh Jeff, there Bye, you are. Sam. Hey, uh, you, you missed our checkers game, you know. Oh Jeff, Jody's looking for you. Skateboards. <laughs> oh well. Ah, uh, just one more book. Oh. I can't believe how much studying I've got. Well, I'm taking this business course at Metro College, and tomorrow is my big exam. Gee, I wonder where Jeff is. Well, he promised he'd ask me some questions from this book. Well, I've only got an hour for my break, so I think I'm just going to have to start without him. Oh, I hope I do well. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, Jody. Uh, Jody, look out. No, no. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't stop in time. What's all this? Tomorrow's my big test, Jeff, remember? Oh, right. Oh, before I forget, Muffy gave me this note to, to give to you. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay. See you around. Oh, wait a minute, Jeff. If you're going to skateboard, do it safely. Go get yourself a helmet and some elbow and knee pads first. Okay. Oh, Jeff, wait a minute. You promised that you'd help me with my... <sighs> Too late. Oh, my note. Let's see. Dear Jody, I'm so glad we're chum. <laughs> I can't wait till tomorrow comes. Off on, on our, our picnic, picnic then to the museum. Those dinosaur bones, I can't, I can't wait to see them. them. So, so it's talk off for now. now. Adios, bye and ciao. Yeah. Oh, no, not tomorrow. <sighs> Oh, I forgot completely. Well, I promised Muffy that we'd picnic in the park and then we'd go to the dinosaur exhibit at the museum, but I can't go. I've got this big exam. Oh, I can't miss it. How am I going to tell Muffy? Well, I'm glad to see our mimes wearing a helmet, elbow pads, and knee pads. Where are you riding? In traffic? With all the cars? No way! Find somewhere safe to ride. Maybe you need one more pad. Room should be a nice, quiet place to study. I have still got so much to do. Boy, Muffy didn't take the news of our not going to the museum very well. But I can't think about that now. I've really got to start studying. Where is Jeff? He promised he'd help me study. Why do people break their promises? I know just how you feel, Jody. Who said that? Who 
who's in here? Me, over here, on the shelf. Who are you? How do you do, Jody? Have we met? I I'm sure I'd remember you. You're an elf or a leprechaun or... No, this is just a little bit of magic I picked up from my husband, Waldo. Waldo? You're married to Waldo the Magnificent? Well, then you must be Mrs... Mrs... Magnificent? My friends call me Matty, short for Matilda. Oh, oh Waldo's spoken so highly of you and Jeff and Sam and Muffy. I felt I could come to you if I needed a place to... to... <laughs> oh, what's wrong, Matty? Tonight is Waldo's and my 30th wedding anniversary. But that's wonderful. Married 30 years ago today? Waldo forgot. Oh. He was supposed to meet at the Chez for an anniversary dinner. I bought a new dress. I, I went to the restaurant and waited. And waited. And waited for two hours. Well, maybe Waldo got lost. Oh, no, he doesn't care anymore. All he thinks about is his magic act. Where he's going to appear next. What tricks he's going to do. Oh. He forgot all about me and, and our anniversary. Oh, Maddie, that's too bad. Easy now, it'll be all right. You found a friend in me tonight. If you're feeling lonely and blue, that's okay, cause I've been there too. Don't turn away trying to hide. Don't lock your feelings up inside. Sometimes you need a friendly ear And sometimes it helps to shed a tear Maybe tomorrow will bring A brighter day and a song to sing But for now you just hold on tight You found a friend, you found a friend in me tonight You have found a friend You have found a friend, you found a friend in me tonight. You have found a friend in me tonight. Oh, thank you, Jody. Waldo was right. You are very kind. Oh, Waldo. Well, here, Maddie, there you go. Thank you, Jody. This should last for a while. Well, how long do you think you'll stay? Well, I'm not sure. I won't get in the way, I promise. That's why I made myself small. You can stay as long as you like. Is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you. I, I have my camping gear and I brought plenty of food. I think I'll go and lie down in, inside my tent for a while. It's been a long night. So sad. Oh, my plans have gone awry. It makes a mouse want to cry. Oh, no grapes. No hot dog. No bun. Oh, Jody's canceled all our fun. And I won't see that brontosaurus because Jody chose to ignore us. How could she do this to me? I'm as upset as I can be. How could Waldo do this to me? I can't believe he forgot our anniversary. Oh, how could Jeff do this to me? He promised to help me study. Oh, Jeff forgot her ticker game. How could he forget? How, how could, could he, he do, do this, this to me? me? It's so unfair, don't you see? Three dinosaurs. Can you remember which of these dinosaurs Muffy wanted to see at the museum? The Brontosaurus. You remembered. <laughs> now, which of these three necklaces was Mrs. Waldo wearing when we saw her? That's the one. Did you get it? Hey, where are you going with that necklace? Mm -hmm. 